Buen día a todos. Good morning, all of the participants. I'm Graciela Betty of uh, the University of San Juan, uh, Argentina, and uh, I am part of uh, the uh, mentoring uh, program, uh, the LACNIC uh, program, uh, um, and my mentor is Cristina Mer of the University of Uruguay. So we are going to talk about security in BGP, uh, design of a, con a smart contract for a blockchain-based solution. Why is BGP still valid in security? Remembering that uh, BGP is the border gateway, uh, border gateway routing protocol that provides the most efficient and direct way of reaching destination and guarantees the autonomous uh, um, routing and there are cases where voluntarily or maliciously the routes are deviated to other destinations. This is disruptive as a denial of service or hijacking or route hijacking. The objective is to improve the security of the extreme routing, the external routing of the PGP protocol, um, just developing a smart contract uh, that may be applicable to blockchain solutions. What are the most vulnerable points of a BGP protocol? Basically, the BGP vulnerability or the transport layer and the update message that is the main one that takes the IP messages such as origin, destination. All these are vulnerable sites that can be altered maliciously by hackers or unadvertently by network operators. What is route hijacking? It's the malicious uh, um, activity through which uh, the traffic is deviated, sending the packets to a black hole in a way that the network does not convert or deviating it to a website to draw confidential information of the users. One example was the case of Pakistan Telecom of the Pakistani government that in 2008 uh, tried uh, to uh, hijack uh, the YouTube route and announcing them as if they were them, sir, so that all the um, uh, routes were um, uh, sent to Pakistan. Um, uh, dot com and uh, they and so in making uh, YouTube unusable there was another Russian case that announces prefixes to the service of the NS of Amazon the purpose was to steal cryptocurrency of the hyper wallet when the users um, um, entered, uh, logged into a uh, false wallet. They stole $150,000 plus the collateral damages, if, uh, and the, it took two hours to solve the problem. What are the solutions uh, that were proposed for these uh, uh, prefix uh, filtering protection of uh, solutions with uh, symmetric cryptography and asymmetric cryptography and the standards of uh, uh, such as RPKI and uh, uh, sec but all the problems have uh, none of these has been generalized, uh, uh, implemented in generalizers, posing potential problems of security if they are only uh, adopted only partially. Only RPKI became uh, was more disseminated, but uh, you needed to trust a centralized uh, um, certifier authority. BGP join hyperchain road to ensure different attributes of up of the uh, update message. Why is uh, the blockchain so attractive for BGP? Basically, because they are very similar to the internet, um, the internet network and blockchain. They are both distributed from autonomous systems and transactionals, respectively. The objective of the internet is to provide connectivity, and blockchain is to keep an auditable record, a log of uh, the uh, 
uh, connection. The this is based on mutual trust between autonomous systems in blockchain. You need to reach consensus following strict uh, rules of the algorithm. But the main difference is to provide security to BGP, that is RPKI, with the potential um, arbit uh, problems. While a blockchain is decentralized and it is shared by all the participants of a peer network. So, what is the proposal in this work? Well, the the proposal is based on BGP uh, coin. And um, our work is based on authenticating the various routes. In this work, we gave a step forward, and um, we included a validation to the destination route with uh, the objective of reaching a smart contract. So the strategy has three parts. One, generating digital certificates. Second, um, uh, validation of uh, internet resources, including the digital signature in transactions. For the generation of a digital certificate, we integrated sequences that is done by a, an RIR as a hierarchic authority generating a smart uh, um, uh, contract for the blockchain uh, transactions first. We, the, well, the certificate is generated, and finally, the row of the prefix, and with that, you have the digital signature. Now, here, let's here you see a screenshot with uh, the uh, different certificates. To the left, you have the registries uh, seeing the data in the campus in the second fields that have been loaded as an example with uh, the value of the IP address. In the specific case of the row uh, or the prefix, you also need the digital uh, signature data. So here you see that there are two phases with the, the on-chain and off-chain signature. With on-chain, it includes the ASN and the prefix, and then you use the, the chat 256 so that the company may be uh, identified as a different one. Off-chain, you sign the hash of the message, and finally, the verification is done comparing the two signatures that need to be identical if there have been no changes in the status. The corresponding deployment in Remix, you have the message hash, then the chat 256, and then off chain, the hash is signed with the MetaMask address. This compares the two signatures to determine the coincidences. Finally, we have the BGP announcement that is registered in the blockchain. We have the sequence and the validation of the resources. The ASX registers the announcement and uh, general AS validates the blockchain to validate the received announcement. The generic AS that is has to be registered in the blockchain. This query has can be done by the router operator to verify the routing data and to recover the configurations from the blockchain. Then Remix is deployed with BGP and with a resource validation. And we also see the validation service on the blockchain where we can check the prefixes with a given AS. To conclude, blockchain offers BGP security, decentralized architecture, immutability of transactions, transparent, auditable, and almost uncorruptible registry. The proposed strategy consists in using a smart contract delivered by an RIR and to register this in the blockchain. This would allow us to register and certify the resources for ASN, the prefixes, BGP announcements to verify the resources and to recover the configuration of the router. The future tasks are to optimize the use of blockchain to assess the system security and to seek storage 
emerging strategies for blockchain to enable the growth of the system in the internet. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions? We are in, we keep in contact. Thank you very much, Graciela, for your presentation. We have some time for questions from the participants. We have a remote question, and the speaker is also connected remotely. So maybe you can ask this uh, question from Asael Fernandez. How much energy or how many more resources do you need for the proposed solution? Good afternoon to all participants. In this specific case, in this initial test of the smart contract, we haven't assessed this. But the idea is I'm using LACNIC Slack chain. And this is most interesting for using it in these cases. We use Ethereum. And proof of work is no longer used. It's the proof of state that is used. In this case, this optimizes the use of resources. And I would like to know if this answers your question. Any more questions? So thank you very much, Graciela, for your excellent presentation. And thank you for the proposed work to the FTL. A big round of applause for Graciela. Thank you. Continuamos con nuestro bloque de presentaciones y